Hey there guys, we haven't really spoken face to face in quite some time, it's been a long time since I've last done a vlog, and since then the channel's grown so there's probably a lot of people around that haven't really said hi. So hello to everybody new, and I, today I'm going to be doing something that I've actually had people asking me for a very very long time, and I've only just felt like I've got something that I'm proud to show. So today we are going to be taking a look at my setup, and I'll be running you through how everything works. Yeah, this is going to get a bit complicated. So then guys, here we have it. This beauty is my setup. I'm going to run us through everything here, but this is my baby. I've been working on it for so long. I've only just got it right, so I'm ready to show it off. I'm very, very happy with everything you see in front of you right now. Apart from possibly my cable management skills. Not ideal. Right, so let's get started with the PC, which is probably the most important part here. So down here we have our tower. This is a custom PC by PC Specialist, not an ad I promise, and it's pretty, pretty powerful. This thing was designed to both edit, play games, and run the HTC Vive. So yeah, you can imagine what kind of specs it's got. I will put them in the description below so you can see that for yourself. That is hooked up into my monitor, which is an Acer monitor. Currently running an update because, you know, I wanted to put something cool on, but PC had other ideas. Obviously down into keyboard and mouse. These are meant to be green, both of them. Obviously the mouse is, but I can't work out how to do the green lights on that anymore, and it keeps changing, so it's all meant to match, because down here we obviously have green lights and the, you can see inside there. It's all very, very cool. So let's carry on moving. We have a full sound system which runs through absolutely everything. So this beauty in the middle is my microphone, pop filter, and obviously microphone stand. It's a very, very nice microphone. It's the same ones that Rooster Teeth and Achievement Hunter use. So if you wanna look it up, I will put that in the description below. Very nice mic. This is all linked up into this audio box USB, which is from PreSonus. It's very simple, not, um, not much to really say about that. It's just an audio box. Right, let's carry on going. What have we got next? So underneath the audio box, we have the Ava Media Game Capture HD2. And this is what I use to record everything, including PC. Because if I use it this way, that basically doesn't have any impact on any performance. It all runs through there. I record it straight onto a external hard drive and it all works really, really well. That's just all hooked up through HDMI. That's a great way to do it. And also on top, we have my Ava Media Live Gamer Portable, I believe it's called. It's basically the same sort of thing, but it's for streaming. So that's how I stream, and it works very well, and doesn't affect any PC performance, which is great when you want to stream PC games. Obviously, underneath here we have the Xbox. It's uh, getting a tired old girl now, starting to break down, so maybe I'll be investing in an Xbox One S soon. That'd be very nice. Lunar White Controller, absolutely beautiful little thing. And those are on a charge docking station because I can't be bothered with batteries, come on. So perhaps something that you might have noticed that we haven't looked at yet is these babies, my HTC Vive, which hasn't actually featured in a video yet, which is unusual. Hello Fallout, how are you doing? You stay there. So under here, let's go. We have the Vive itself. It's going to be sleeping there for a while because it's my baby. I care for it. I love it so much. So the Vive is ready to go whenever I want it. I have just about enough space in this room. Yeah, not much space at all, to be honest. And up on the walls, we have our base station fixed in a very rudimentary way. Bit of, bit of tape and a bit of elbow grease to get them up. But you know what? I think that's pretty much it. Apart from one more thing. Everything runs through the same monitor. So the computer, the Xbox, and anything else I want to put through it. So underneath the table, we're going down now. Oh, come on. We have this little blue light. And what this blue light is, it is a HDMI splitter. So we have one output with three inputs. So just by the press of a button, which is just where this blue light is, it's very dark under here. I'm able to switch between all of my different monitors all on the one screen, which is very useful when it comes to recording. I do really love this setup. So there you have it guys, that was a very rambly kind of crap video about my setup. I hope you enjoyed it. Normal videos will be resuming back to normal very soon. I've just finished moving into the new house, back to uni, back to videos. It's going to be a really good time coming up with some awesome games. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. I have been The Real Gorilla, over and out. His name is Luke and he's more than your average gamer. No ordinary let's player, no bad Easter
looks much better. Da 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 da. His name is Luke, aka the Roy Gorilla. Even bigger than the giant Godzilla. Follow him in every game he goes. Da 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 da. He's almost got everything you need from GTA 5 to a 